Welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be doing a video about AMC Entertainment. Before I start the video guys, please make sure to leave a like on the video below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Join the family guys. Let's go on our investment journey together. So today we're going to be talking about AMC Entertainment and why actually AMC Entertainment is up. 20% today. Um, obviously, you know, with the whole pandemic thing going around and the whole thing kind of with the short squeeze and the whole Reddit thing, you know, AMC Entertainment has actually gotten a lot of attention. All kind of started with the whole short squeeze kind of thing. People trying to force a short squeeze. If we take a look at the one month chart together, we can actually see here that, you know, this thing had a 322% increase until a lot of the brokerages actually limited the trading altogether, which did cause the stock to kind of plummet. But and good news, AMC Entertainment was able to avoid bankruptcy altogether because they were able to sell some stock at that $20 range, which did purposely or currently bail out AMC Entertainment, which is a very good sign. It did cause the stock to rally AMC Entertainment basically coming out saying, okay, you know, as of now, we're good. Like we're avoiding bankruptcy as of now. We don't need to file for any bankruptcy, but that does not explain on why the stock today is actually up 20%. A lot of people have been super bearish about AMC Entertainment saying, you know, the stock is going nowhere. Uh, the stock is, is the company is going to go bankrupt. And I can understand where people are coming from the bearer side of things when it comes to AMC Entertainment. Yeah, like, yes, the pandemic is like wreaking havoc on the world. People cannot go to the movie theaters, but in my bullish case overall, I don't think the movie theater is ever going to go away. I say this in every video that like, for me, I love going to the movies. I love going when there's movie previews. I love going with a significant other friends and I love to grab some popcorn and I love to go sit my butt in a movie theater, which is why I'm actually bullish on AMC Entertainment altogether. I do think that this stock has a lot of upside massive potential and I do think that once things actually start to reopen together all again that this company is going to do very good things but guys this is not why AMC Entertainment is actually up 20% today. On March 5, movie theaters can actually reopen in New York City. The governor of New York basically said okay you know starting March 5th like movie theaters are going to be open again which is a very good sign. That means like okay you know, we've dealt enough with the pandemic altogether and you know that now that movie theaters are open, this is definitely going to boost AMC Entertainment's bullish case here because not only does that mean that it's going to start opening up all around the United States, like, you know, it's people are going to soon follow suit here and people are going to start going to other forms of basically people are gonna, like other states are going to follow other states are going to start opening up movie theaters, but New York making that basically huge step was the cause of the rally for AMC Entertainment today why the stock is up 20%. Now, obviously, yes, the stock does still have a potential chance at a short squeeze. So if the stock does get pushed up high enough, then yes, AMC Entertainment can actually be pushed up a lot higher. Last time I checked, the stock actually has around an 80 to 90% short float, which is pretty high actually, to say the least. You know, GameStop had around 140%, but 90% is still super high. But this goes to show, you know, even at, and when when uh, in China, when they had the New Year's, their Chinese New Year's, you know, the, people were flooding the movie theaters. Now, I can guarantee you guys when on March 5th in New York, when the movie theaters open again, people are going to be flooding going there as well because people love going to the movie theater. It's a courtesy. It's a luxury that we, people have not been able to go to for a very long time now. And I know that this is definitely going to make AMC Entertainment rally and it's definitely going to see a lot of upside potential for the company because not only does it show that, okay, like the pandemic is going away. So companies like AMC Entertainment and all these other companies that have been affected from the pandemic can start to recover. But it also shows that, okay, like movie theaters are now open again. People are going to start going to the movie theater. And this is definitely going to boost AMC Entertainment's earnings and its long-term longevity as far as it avoiding bankruptcy and staying all together. So really, really good news for the company. And I love how like, you know, a lot of people who are super patient. Just be patient with the stock. If you guys are overturned bullish on AMC, you're holding high averages, always average down. Obviously, everything I say in my videos is not financial advice. It's just my personal opinion. But now, you know, it makes people ask the question, you know, is AMC Entertainment a good buy at $6.89? Should you put money into AMC Entertainment? Well, right now, it's actually not a very bad idea. Like I said, since we actually got good news, like I said, on the Chinese New Year, like people were flooding the movie theaters and now starting. March 5th, New York is now opening movie theaters again. You know, this is definitely a lot of positive upside for AMC Entertainment. It goes to show that the pandemic is slowly going away and movie theaters can once return to what they were. And this is definitely going to boost earnings. It's definitely going to boost a lot of, you know, long-term hope for AMC Entertainment. But people also have to understand that I do think that AMC Entertainment and all these companies are going to do a lot better in the long term. The reason is people have not had these luxuries to go to the movie theater for a long time now. So it's definitely going to boost earnings in the long term and in the short term as well. 
movie theater is never going to go away. And I know bears do argue that, okay, you know, with the popular streaming services and now they're going to be streaming every single movie. It honestly does not make a difference. People love going to the movie theater. It's a courtesy. It's a luxury. It's never going to be taken away. And it's something that an experience, it's an experience that these streaming services cannot replicate. You know, it's not, you get in your car, you drive to the movie theater. It's just all the hype surrounded about behind it. This is why I do think that AMC Entertainment is still going to be a very good company. Now, I know people do compare it to like Blockbuster and Netflix, but in my opinion, I think it's completely different. Yes, the whole DVD and your whole VCR thing, it was really outdated, but the movie theater, although it, the idea behind it is very outdated, it's a very courteous one. People love going to the movies, and I don't think that's ever going to the change. That's ever going to change, which is what makes me super, super bullish on AMC Entertainment. But this is very good news for the company, and it did cause the rally, the stock to rally twenty percent today. Uh, just due to the fact that New York is now going to open movie theaters on March 5th. I'm pretty sure we're going to see states follow suit pretty shortly after here as the uh, the state continues to try to reopen and as you know, companies are kind of sick and tired of basically trying to avoid bankruptcy as much as possible. I think it is time for these companies to start reopening and start doing business again. So I'm super, super excited to see where AMC Entertainment goes from here. With that being said, guys, that's all I really have to say about the video. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys, what you think of AMC Entertainment. Did you guys buy AMC Entertainment today at $6.89? What do you guys think of the news of New York actually reopening movie theaters on March 5th? Do you guys think this is going to cause a lot of positive upside in the stock? If you guys own AMC Entertainment, how many shares do you guys own and what's your average? I'm always very curious to know. With that being said, guys, thank you. Have a great day.